Hey everyone, it's VM Campos, comic book fan. So I've got a comic haul for you, and it is with a heavy heart to say that it is my last comic haul. That is to say, the last comic haul that I'll make at Rising Sun Comics, a very cool comic shop here in San Diego. Unfortunately, they've closed down, and after several years of being a San Diego staple, they've, they've had to pack it up. Well, I've got my last comic haul that I've picked up from them. Uh, let's not mourn, let's check it out. I want to give a shout out to Ed Sherman and his wife Atsuko, who have uh, run the place and run it really well, had a lot of great comics, and uh, was a cool friend and had a cool shop. I wish them well. Let's check out the last haul and enjoy some comics. First up, in honor of my cool Star Wars shirt, I've got Star Wars Adventures number one. This is from IDW. Cover price $3.99 and it's the regular cover A. So you might have picked up the, uh, the freebie book uh, recently and here's the first full issue. So it's classic. Uh, and modern Star Wars stories in this uh, cartoony style right here. Uh, Yoda, BB-8, all the classics, uh, issue number one. Uh, cover says Scott, Charm, Somariva, Parsons, and Kirchhoff. Tales from the Wild Space featuring Obi-Wan Kenobi. That's the coolest Obi-Wan Kenobi I've ever seen right there. Star Wars Adventures number one. We've got something that I got off the shelf just on a lark. I don't know anything about it. Uh, this cool dragon and this kid uh, caught my attention, so I picked it up. This is Scales and Scoundrels by Gurner, Gelad, and Powell. I wonder if that's the Powell that's hot du jour at the moment. This is also from Image Comics. Uh, don't see it on the cover price here, but probably $2.95, $3.95. Image has been pretty cool recently with a lot of uh, affordably priced books. This is the number one of a story, Scales and Scoundrels. We've got our heroine right here with some sort of dragon creature. Very cool hair on that dragon. I wish I had its hair. Actually, I wish I had its fire breathing powers. Again, I don't know anything about this book, but number one, so I wanted to jump on and let's see what it's about. Another image book and another one that I didn't really know anything about. It reminded me a lot of CalExit, uh, that uh, liberal wet dream that I subscribe to. Uh, this one is Gasolina number one, Bienvenido by Mankiewicz, Walter, and Lopez. Uh, so is it another sort of like a, a secessionist story or like uh, in Trump's America? Like, I don't know what it's about. Uh, cover is interesting. You know, the top cover looks like this and then the bottom there's death. So uh, just got it off the shelf. Uh, price on that is $3.99, issue number one. So you've got uh, some intriguing, I don't know, post-apocalyptic stuff going on from Skybound. So, you know, from uh, uh, the Walking Dead crew. Uh, image comic, Gasolina number one. Speaking of the Walking Dead crew, no, that's not an issue of the Walking Dead. It is one of the ongoing image homage covers to the Walking Dead. This is Black Science number 32 by Remender, Scalera, and Dionisio. And it might look familiar to you if you are a Walking Dead comic fan. This cover looks like a classic Walking Dead cover. Uh, apologies, I don't know the issue number, but I, I, I see that cover in my mind's eye. And so Image uh, did a um, uh, homage to Walking Dead covers in their various titles. So Black Science number 32 for $3.99. Here's another Walking Dead, I mean, here's another Walking Dead homage cover. This is Royal City number 6 for $3.99. Uh, only one credit on the cover here, Jeff Lemire. So I knew him mostly from his work on uh, Plutona that happened a few years ago. Uh, six issues, five out of six were great, the sixth uh, not so great. 
And so here, I guess, uh, he's got his own book. Um, again, I, I got this because I was getting the Walking Dead covers. I asked uh, to uh, reserve the Walking Dead alternate covers uh, when those were coming out. And so I got this one. And again, I recognize the general idea of the cover from a classic Walking Dead book, but I don't quite remember what issue it was and such. Uh, if you know which one it is, leave it in the comments. I can look it up, of course, but it's fun to get feedback from the community. Here's another great Walking Dead homage cover. Uh, this is The Wiccan and the Divine, number 32, by Gillen, McKelvey, Wilson, and Cowles. Really cool, stark, uh, bloody cover, number 32 of the issue. I don't remember what issue of The Walking Dead uh, this is. Uh, oh, play, paying an homage too, but uh, looks really great. Beautiful flood of blood there, and the stark number to the issue, and the resolve on this character. So the Wicked and Divine, number 32. Oh, 33 is out then, and I like to re collect repeating number comics. You know, 11, 22, 33, 88, 99. I've also got several books of 111, 222, 333. Uh, that's one of my sub things that I like to collect in, in the world of comics. So I got this one and um, I'll get 33. Birthright, number 27. Uh, Williamson, Bresson, and Lucas. Now, uh, this might be one of the more recent homage covers that you might recognize. This is Walking Dead 101 or 104 or something like that, which of course is the introduction to King Ezekiel and Shiva. So uh, you've got the characters from this series in an homage to that uh, neo-classic uh, Walking Dead cover introducing King Ezekiel. I'm getting sort of vague um, uh, Aquaman vibes from this character, but I'm sure it is very much different. And this one, if you're a Walking Dead fan, you know what this one is an homage to. This is Youngblood number six. Uh, obvious homage to Walking Dead number one, the one that started it all. The Walking Dead themselves have had homages to their own number one. Uh, number 75, I believe, was another homage back to number one. And there's been uh, books all over comicdom that have paid tribute to number one. There was a really funny Scooby-Doo comic that had this scene, but it was uh, Scooby and Shaggy's arms and the Mystery Mobile is beat up over here. And then you can kind of see in the edges of the glass here, zombified. Um, mystery gang. Uh, so this is Chad Bowers and Jim Toe, um, and uh, pretty uh, memorable cover homage right there. Young Blood number six. So that was a lot of image love right there in that uh, in that hall. But I've got a couple more. So here we have Squirrel Girl, number uh, 25. Oh, 25 whole issues already. So this is Squirrel Girl, volume two. I wonder if they're gonna do a legacy numbering with Squirrel Girl, because you'd have to add about uh, six or seven issues of her first volume uh, from a few years ago onto 25. Really funny book as always. Uh, the, the great team of North Henderson and Renzi, uh, story, art, uh, inks and such. Uh, here we have uh, one of the few covers that you see nowadays that has speech, speech bubbles, and it's always pretty funny. Uh, unbeatable Squirrel Girl will die in Ultron's jaws. She replies, don't you mean the 2017 Eisner award-winning best comic for teens unbeatable squirrel girl will die in Ultron's jaws? And he replies, clearly the answer is no. So funny shenanigans, cute drawings, uh, stories that will appeal to all ages. Uh, rated T actually here. 25 whole issues, not counting volume one. 
Squirrel Girl. And lastly, to tie it all back together with my own uh, comic reading and collecting, Amazing Spider-Man number 789, back to the legacy numberings. In my own personal history, if you see my other videos and know about my comic fandom, I started with issue 293 in 1987 and read it pretty continuously from Amazing Spider-Man number 293 up to 333. And those are my formative uh, comic book reading and collecting years. So here it is back to legacy numbering, 789. The Fall of Parker number one. This is a regular old cover. Uh, plenty of uh, variant covers out there, but I got just the basic one. This is with Slot, Imonen, Von Grabadger, and Garcia. So that's it. That's my last comic haul from Rising Sun Comics. Sad to see them go, but I thank them for their years of comic fandom, for being a cool place to get comics and talk to people. And it's up to us. It's up to us to support our local shops, to order our comics from there, to visit, to talk to other people, to indoctrinate them in comics, and to keep this hobby going. The local comic shops are the best place to get your comics, to l discover new comics. So it's up to us. This has been VM Campos. See you next time.